Okay. Last one. There. Last box out of the house into the car. Yes, I'm sure. I did one more walkthrough and things are good. It's really weird being in a house that's completely empty after, you know, living in there for so long. It's, I know it's only been a couple of years, but it feels like a long time. Yes, the acoustics in there are amazing. I love it. If I could, I would just sit there for a few hours and sing. But we have a new place to go to, to furnish, to decorate, to rearrange. Of course I'm excited. Remember, I do interior design. It's, it's like a big playground for me. Yeah, it's going to be fun. A little stressful at some points, but we've been there before, and I already know where everything should basically go. Hmm? Yeah, sure. Of course you can go through a checklist. Why don't you just say what you think we might have forgotten and all? I'll tell you if we have it. All right. Shoot. Go for it. And then we pack the dinnerware in the kitchen box and the, and the giant kitchen box, and then we put it in the truck. Mm hmm. Got that. Let me tell you that it was very hard to pack, but we got it. I just dismantled all the pieces of the vacuum and then stuck it back in the box. Will I be? <laughs> of course I'll be able to. I brought the instructions, and that's why we never threw them away. I knew we were going to need them at some point. Ugh. I don't know if smart is the right word, but I try. What else do you have? Mm hmm Got that. All of the office stuff is in the giant office box. Even if we forget something or lost it, we can just get more. I know Sharpies are my big issue and yours is paper clips. <laughs> That'd be fine. I know, I know, you're just going through a list. Unless that's on your phone, right? Of course it is. It helps you be at least a little organized, right? Mm -hmm. Yes, we got all those. That's it? <laughs> Good. And listen, even if we do forget something, the new people are moving in and what? One or two days? Oh, one. That's even better. Yeah, once they move in, if they find something of ours, they'll contact us. They have my number, your number, and we'll make sure to come pick it up. Well, if either of us are gone, they'll ship it. It's no big deal. Or we'll pick it up when we can. Exactly. It is not the end of the world. So, are you ready? <laughs> are you ready for what? To go, of course. I just want to stare for a second. Sure. I don't think there's any issue in that. You're right. This is the first place we moved into. It's only been a couple of years, but it feels like we've been there forever. I'm gonna miss this old place. But our new place has 
so many more opportunities. It's closer to both of our jobs, and we got more room. More room to spread out all of our decorations and furnishings. Mm -hmm. And the slightly bigger kitchen. You know I'm going to have a lot of fun with that. Something doesn't seem right. Are you sure? You're just not sure about... <laughs> well, sweetie. It's okay. This is a great place that we're going to move into. I just don't know if you're making... <laughs> What's gotten into you? Are you worried about something? About going anywhere? About this new place? Oh. New choices. That's, that's understandable. I mean, going to a new city. Expanding our jobs and getting more work. It's gonna be a little scary. That's how changes work. I mean, think about it. We've been here, used to commuting, used to everything for a while. But now suddenly we're all changed and we're moving. It feels good, but it doesn't feel good at the same time. What do you mean? Oh, you're just worried that we aren't making the right choice? Well, I'll be honest, I was a little worried at one point. But I decided to follow my gut. To listen to my inner voice. Telling me that this is a good idea. Things are going to be alright. We shouldn't be afraid or worried. Mm hmm Of course. I'm 100% confident in us. Don't get me wrong, like I said, I had some doubts. But I think that's normal when you go into a new chapter. Mm hmm It's all nothing but uncertainty, anticipation, a little bit of fear. I think that's normal, don't you? Hmm? <laughs> am I still a little concerned? Of course I am. But I think that's normal. I still think it is. Always will. It's just part of new chapters, I guess. We're closing something that's new, old, and familiar. Not new, <laughs> old. Familiar things that we've been doing for a long time. And then we're moving on to new things. And with the word new comes the word unexpected. And that's understandably concerning. A little scary. But with that also comes the word adventure, excitement, opportunities. Experience. I'm going to learn so many new things when we're over there. New place, new shops, new restaurants to try out. Mm -hmm. And a big park. A fun one for us to walk around in and... Yeah, even some gardens to visit. Don't apologize, it's fine. Hey, remember the night before our wedding? We were both sitting in bed. You were reading a book, I was drinking my tea and reading stuff on my phone. And we were talking. Talking about what was going to happen the next day and we were kind of freaking out. In both the good and concerned sense. 
I mean, while we knew we were ready to get married, it was still daunting to think about. And suddenly we're no longer fiancés, no longer dating, but the next level, married, sharing last names, living together permanently. Yes, changing statuses on our Facebooks and all that. But still, we were concerned about if we were truly prepared for these new, new steps in life. Yeah, <laughs> yeah. I remember you were joking about needing a few drinks the few hours beforehand. Mm-hmm. And I threatened if you did, I would pour some wine down your shirt. <laughs> I'm glad you didn't. But you know I never would have done that anyway. The point is, both of us were worried. We were concerned about this new chapter because we had no idea what it held for us. We weren't sure if we were going to get into more fights or any fights. Because I don't count our disagreements as fights. Or if we were ready for sharing last names, sharing perspectives, sharing everything. Not everything, technically. Smart ass. <laughs> but, you know, having that title. It's daunting for some, terrifying for others, and exciting for more. But we decided to trust our inner voices, to trust each other, and believe that we were going to make it, no matter what happened, as long as we had each other's support, and the support of our friends and family, which they've been nothing but great to us. Well, true, the fact that they've all been married before us is a plus, but you know, my point is, this is the same thing. Instead of marriage, it's a new city, new house, new environment, new neighbors. Although they seem nice, it's still going to be a little daunting. But I believe we have this. We're going to be fine. You're going to be fine. Just trust me. I'll trust you. We'll talk through everything together. New ideas, new plans. We'll see where life takes us together. And as long as we have each other's support, everything will be fine. Of course I'm right. I mean, that's how we dealt with marriage. That's how we dealt with being, you know, fiancés. I'm happy I could help. Overall, I am excited for this new chapter in our lives. I'm not certain or not. I know we'll make it together. <laughs> I love you too. Hmm. Alright, let's hop into the car and let's lead the movers where we're going to live now. Okay. Out with the old, in with the new. Goodbye old chapters, hello new exciting adventures, together.